Look at the little mesovortices on the inside of that eye. I mean, it is an absolute war zone. It's like a nonstop tornado. Hurricane Irma, it's a strong one. Irma is about as bad as it gets. This is an absolute beast of a storm. In fact, it's the strongest storm in history in the Atlantic outside of the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico that there ever has been, at least in recorded history. And how quickly the north turn occurs will then dictate if we're looking at a storm along the west coast of Florida, the peninsula itself, or along the east coast. This is basically telling us the center of the storm could go east, it could go west, it could go directly into Florida. That's certainly a possibility, uh, but we don't know for sure exactly what's going to happen with it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have mega monster, destructive, dangerous, category five, Hurricane Irma. We have tropical storm Jose on Hurricane Irma's heels. We now have Tropical Storm Katya growing in the Gulf, and we have a geomagnetic storm watch, plus a major X-class, the Earth-directed solar flare. That is the strongest solar flare in more than a decade. I hope you guys realize, if the solar storms fries the grid, y'all are going to have to complain about politics in person. So be ready to adapt. All right. Hey, man. These are crazy days, huh? If we don't keep a sense of humor, there's no way we're going to make it through all this. Lost picture. Messiah, this is Houston. Come uh, Houston, this is. Stay cool. I just want what Newton wants. To reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Hit the button, baby. Everybody start. Three. Two. One. This is a Thor News presentation. Stay cool. Thor News presents. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, man. You better STFU about political distractions. Keep your eye on the weather. We come together. Because we are all in this together. Here's the latest look at Hurricane Irma, Category 5. Okay, so this storm means serious business now. Florida Governor Rick Scott declaring a state of emergency. Do not sit and wait to prepare. Get prepared now. This is going to be a dangerous mix of destructive winds, life-threatening surge, heavy rain, and flooding for these areas. And as we look at the models, there is still some uncertainty on exactly where Hurricane Irma will end up. Our Category 5 Irma continues its move to the northwest. Just a devastating hurricane for the northern Leeward Islands. So around 2 a.m. this morning over the island of Barbuda, stayed just north of Antigua over St. Bart's over St. Martin, and boy, the eye right over Anguilla as well. Virgin Islands really going to get heavily impacted. The worst will likely stay north of St. Croix. Uh, Puerto Rico does not appear like it's going to take a direct hit. It's still going to be a pretty impactful storm, not only for Puerto Rico, but also Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Still, it's going to be a pretty impactful storm for Puerto Rico. Not only is there going to be a lot of rain, I probably some hurricane force wind on the northern part of the island, okay? So uh, don't be surprised if you end up with a couple feet of storm surge. I don't think it'll be too much worse than three or four feet. Um, I would watch out, especially for the flooding, especially inland where you have some terrain. You can get those landslides and mudslides, but still, air like Puerto Rico, uh, the Dominican Republic, the Virgin Islands, Turks and Caicos, Bahamas. You guys are all going to see enough rain to cause some serious flooding. So these islands, like St. Bart, are going to be absolutely devastated. Uh, Barbuda and St. Bart. Certainly it's going to go over the British Virgin Islands. I think when everything is all said and done, it'll be within 30 miles, the center of St. John, and probably about 40 miles near St. Tom. And what I mean by devastating is just buildings are going to be compromised and in many cases flattened. Extensive, extensive damage. British Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. John, it's going to be very bad here in St. Croix and Puerto Rico, but I think the worst of the conditions, the absolute worst of conditions, is probably going to be off to the north. Nonetheless, in Puerto Rico, officials are worried about power being out for several weeks. So let's talk about the United States. A couple of things. The farther north, that Irma stays north of Hispaniola, the more likely it stays at least a Category 5. Uh, you really got to be prepared for this storm because there are actually a lot of different things that could happen. Now, in time, this high is going to weaken and then lift to the northeast as a dip in the jet stream starts to come south. And that's when we're going to start seeing that north turn 
as we move in the Friday and Saturday. As far as the steering of the storm goes, don't take this forecast cone the wrong way. I know you see the hurricane icon right in the middle of it. That means to a lot of people it's going to be a perfect direct landfall, and we're sure of that. Not the case, okay? I've always worried more about the East Coast than the West Coast, and there's information coming in that that's probably more likely at this point. This is the cone of uncertainty, and if you notice, over the last couple of updates from the Hurricane Center, things have shifted toward the east a little bit. A lot more forecast models are trying to take the center of the storm east of Florida. Still, a lot of bad scenarios exist there, like, for instance, the idea of the east coast of Florida just getting raked with the hurricanes. My concern is that this north turn occurs a little earlier in the process, and as a result, we're looking at an east coast of Florida, but right now the peninsula east coast of Florida still can't rule out the west coast. It does appear unlikely now that it will uh, kind of drift off toward the west into the Gulf of Mexico. I think this is either going to be a directly affecting the Florida peninsula thing or the type of thing where it goes just east of Florida. I'm worried about that north turn, and if we get along the east coast of Florida, may not get a landfall, but then you have to worry about the Carolina coast. Historically, that's Myrtle Beach to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The devastating impacts continue to move northwest. Now, we're going to start seeing tropical storm force conditions in the Keys and Miami as early as Friday night. And then the devastating impacts will start on Sunday. Destructive winds, flooding rain, inundating seas. The inundating seas would more likely be along the east coast of Florida where we could be looking at extensive coastal damage and damaging winds, and then that would spread up the peninsula as we move into Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. In terms of impacts here, we're going to be talking about rainfall amounts that could be 4 to 8 inches, locally 12 inches of rainfall here as we go throughout the Florida Peninsula again Saturday night and into Sunday. But also notice where we're going to be looking at the wave action here. Very, very dangerous. Wave heights could be topping again 20 to even 25 feet. A very dangerous storm surge that will be highly dependent on the exact track and just that coastal inundation. This hurricane is far too powerful, poses far too great a threat for us to uh, delay actions uh, any longer. So I want to remind everybody again, we're in peak hurricane season, and it's going to be the wildest, wackiest, weirdest, craziest hurricane season of all time. Just as Hurricane Harvey was a super villain that dropped record rainfall, we're looking for weird weather warrior Hurricane Irma to bring record wind and storm surge. So it is almost like we're under attack from a league of bad guys, bad guys being storm. And so once again, I ask you, my fellow Americans, that means North America, South America, I need everybody to start to come together as one family and one people. Together, we will survive and thrive. Or we can do what we've been doing for the last five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, 200 years, and totally fail. From top to bottom, from the richest to the rich, to the poorest of the poor. We are at the crossroads, people. Which direction do you want to go? All right, there's so much data coming in. The data ensembles are suggesting anywhere from the west side of Florida up to Virginia. I, as Thor of Thor News, recommend that everyone all along the Gulf of Mexico and all up the east coast, that includes Mexico and Canada, be ready. Because this weird and wild situation keeps getting weird and wilder. And a saying I have had at Thor News for a while. When the sun goes crazy, the weather goes crazy, and people go a little crazy. So let's go crazy good together. Like Prince said, if the elevator tries to break you down, go crazy. I will discuss Tropical Storm Jose, Tropical Storm Katia, and the multiple solar storms that are headed our way in the next video. I don't know if you know this, but I started off Thor News discussing the solar situation five years ago, and it's what led me to weather. Because unlike 97% of most scientists, I do believe the number one thing that is driving our climate to change at such rapid rates is the sun. Because when the sun gets really active, the weather gets really active, and then people get a little crazy. The question is, are you going to go good crazy, or are you going to go bad crazy? And remember, I'm not a professional meteorologist, and I'm not a professional solar scientist. Me not being paid by a specific corporate or government entity allows me to tell you exactly what I think and see, but ultimately it is your responsibility to do your own research and make your own decisions. 
Okay, so I want everybody to stay cool, be cool, and we will get through this together. Because whatever the hell we were doing, ain't been working, people. So it's time for everybody to put aside their pointless arguing over politics and come together as one American family. Thank you. God bless everyone. Talk to you guys soon. All right. Peace out. Tropical Storm Jose. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then toys all over here. Hurricane, solar flares, planet X. How humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't